All rise for the Honorable Judge David Sorn. Thank you, Bailiff. Is that a new haircut? No. Oh, very well then. All right, let's get started. District Attorney Blatchley, what's our next case? Well, Your Honor, today we have the case of Tom Kufal versus the state of Minnesota. All right, and uh, what are the charges? Tom Kufal is charged with first degree ear slaughter. Having, having an extremely loud voice and an annoyingly loud laugh. Interesting. Uh, Mr. Kufal, how do you plead? Not guilty! Whoa! Settle down there, big fella. Just with Attorney Blatchley, why don't you start us off with some opening remarks? Thank you, Your Honor. On trial, we have today Tom Kufal. And as you've already seen, he had, is a man of an extremely loud voice. He has been plaguing the ears of his friends for years with his extremely loud voice and annoyingly loud laugh. I, I think it will become apparent to you later, throughout the trial that Tom Kufal needs to be put behind closed bars and out of the public ear. Thank you, Mr. Blashley. Public Attorney Hibba, would you like to make some opening statements as well? Opening statements? Uh, sure. Uh, why not? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was trying to take a nap earlier, but I was brutally awoken by my client's loud voice. What are you doing? It's okay. Just trust me, okay? Uh, anyways, Your Honor, I was, uh, as I woke up, it, it came to me. It came to me like, like a sheep runs to a wolf. Yes, like, like the waves go out to the sea. Like, like, like the stars come out at the, at the sunrise. Like... Mr. Hibma, please proceed. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, it, it came to me that my client is not loud. He's really not loud. What it is is that my ears, while not only gorgeous, beautiful, they're beautiful, but they're also exceptional at picking up sound. No further questions. You weren't asking any questions. That's what you think. Okay then. District Attorney Blatchley, do you have any witnesses? No, Your Honor. You don't have any witnesses. Well, actually, I do. All of you. It's pretty obvious that he talks way too loud in public. All right, Mr. Hitma, do you have any witnesses? Witnesses? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Your Honor, I would like to call District Attorney Blatchley to the stand. I object. You can't call the district attorney to the witness stand. Why not? Because he's the district attorney. Mr. Hibbon, do you have any other witnesses? Uh, yeah. I guess I could call Tom to the stand. Tom. Why don't you go ahead? Thank you. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Uh, Tom Kapel, can you please say your name for the record? Yeah, it's Kufal. Kufal? Do you have a pen I can borrow? Okay. Is that Kufal with uh, two Fs or three? Try P H. P H. Okay. Well. Uh, Your Honor, I would like to introduce to the court Exhibit A. A voicemail message from my client two weeks ago. He called me looking for me to represent him. And this is a voicemail message he left me. Attorney Hidma, I, I just needed to get a hold of you. I really wish you would have picked up your phone. I'm incredibly nervous. I've, I've got to go to court. I really need someone to represent. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just saw something funny on TV. I 
need your help. Please call me back. I need you to defend me. Your Honor, would you please humor me and uh, would you laugh for me? Ha ha ha. Thank you. District Attorney Blatchley, would you please laugh for me? Ha ha ha. I think it's very clear to see now what's going on here. My client is not actually loud. His voice is not loud. His laugh is not loud. What it really is is that he laughed in the voicemail. You heard it with two ha's. Ha ha. I demand a mistrial. No. Listen. Based on the evidence that we've seen here today, based on hearing Mr. Kufal's incredibly loud voice in person, I find the defendant guilty. Yes. I hereby sentence you to 14 to 16 years of speaking in only whispers. Court is adjourned.